we're asked to simplify the given expression. And we'll take a look at two methods for simplifying the given expression. For the first method, we'll begin by writing the given expression using only positive exponents. Notice right now in the numerator, the base of three x has an exponent of negative three. In the denominator, the base of y has an exponent of negative one. We can rewrite the base of three x raised to the power of negative three using a positive exponent by using the negative exponent rule a raised to the power of negative m equals one over a raised to the power of positive m. This is telling us if we move the base of three x down to the denominator, the sign of the exponent will change from negative three to positive three. And we can write y the negative one in the denominator using a positive exponent using the negative exponent rule one over a raised to the power of negative m equals a raised to the power of positive m. Which means if we move the base of y up to the numerator, the exponent changes from negative one to positive one. So we can write the given expression as the expression where the numerator would be, this y would be y to the first, and then times, if we move this base of y up to the numerator, we'd have times y to the positive one. If we move the base of three x down to the denominator, we'd have the base of three x raised to the power of positive three, and then we still have times x to the fourth. Looking at the numerator, y to the first times y to the first is y to the second or y squared. In the denominator, before multiplying, we need to apply the power property of exponents here. Remember, three x is the same as three to the first times x to the first. So because we have powers raised to powers, we multiply the exponents. So we'd have three raised to the power of one times three, which is three, x raised to the power of one times three, which is three, and we still have times x to the fourth. Looking at the denominator, three to the third is equal to three times three times three, which equals 27. And then we have x to the third times x to the fourth, because we're multiplying, and the bases are the same, we add the exponents. So because three plus four is equal to seven, x to the third times x to the fourth, is equal to x to the seventh. So the given expression simplifies to y to the second divided by 27x to the seventh. Let's simplify this again using a second method. For the second method, we'll begin by applying the power property of exponents to the base of three x, which is raised to the negative three power. And again, remember, three x is the same as three to the first times x to the first. So we can write the given expression as three raised to the power of one times negative three is negative three, x raised to the power of one times negative three, which is negative three, y, the denominator is still x to the fourth, y raised to the power of negative one. Let's also write an exponent of one on the y in the numerator. Now from here, if it's helpful, we could include a coefficient of one in the denominator. And now let's take a look at this quotient in parts. This quotient is the same as three raised to the power of negative three over one times x to the power of negative three divided by x raised to the power of four times y to the first divided by y to the power of negative one. Well, three to the negative third or three to the negative third over one is equal to one over three raised to the power of positive three. And then we have times, here we're dividing and the bases are the same, so we subtract the exponents, and it's always the top exponent minus the bottom exponent. So x to the negative three divided by x to the fourth is equal to x raised to the power of negative three minus four. And then we have times y raised to the power of one minus negative one. Simplifying, we'd have one twenty-seventh. This would be x raised to the power of negative seven, and this would be y raised to the power of one plus one or two, so we have y squared. Now this is almost simplified, but we can't leave the base of x with a negative exponent. As a fraction, x to the negative seven would have a denominator of one, so if we move the base of x down to the denominator, the exponent changes sign. So we'd have a y to the second in the numerator. In the denominator we'd have 27, and then x raised to the power of positive seven. So notice how using both methods, we get the same simplified expression. 
Now I'm sure you'll find you'll prefer one method over the other, but it is important to recognize that both methods are valid for simplifying the given expression. I hope you found this helpful.